shall emerge triumphant from this ordeal, and through the crucible on scared will pass. When we are poised, the wounds of battle to heal, we shall remember those who died in mass. Then shall
project is on course. It remains sacrosanct. It is irreversible. And no amount of force can dampen nor quench the ingenuity. Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday, and it is today and forever. Yes, sir. wonderful dear friends across the globe, conscious people all over the world. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming live through Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station. Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station is being anchored by Diokpa Uchi Ukafo Mefo. Diokpa Uchi Ukafo Mefo is the man who has simply assured us that under his watch, he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And honestly, this is one word I do not expect everybody to understand the mindset behind it gradually you will know because the truth is unfolding already i am george unibe i come from abo abo is in anyoma province of course anyoma province is in biafra land i want to use this opportunity as well as customary demand that our knowledge the father of the new nation chief rafael wazuriki the man who in a time where nobody can mention biafra stood their ground and start propelling propagating this gospel they brought on the canoe up before rafael was rike chief rafael was rike start this struggle where is in the canoe acknowledge you tonight acknowledge members of the de facto customary government headed by alahaji asare dokobo and deputized by adareta and ebogo you have Uchi Nasibu, popularly known as Umiumiu. Of course, he can Nawan Onenyi. We have Ubidi. So numerous to mention. Dr. Okadu. Mazu Binu. So many members of the parliament interim parliament of biafra of course acknowledge members of other pro biafra group who have been incorporated into the biafra customary government biafra thanks you and of course members of biafra nation alliance acknowledge you i respect you I admire your courage and I tell you it is your prison that is an inspiration to what we are doing and so dear friends thank you of course I cannot proceed without acknowledging the indigenous people of Unandekano the only thing they know how to do is to curse once you have a contrary view or opinion they talk rubbish you can easily detect them that is why they are being picked everywhere like chicken because now the canoe practically remove all their brain he practically remove all their brain whether it's in abeno pabio wherever he take it to only god knew and then sometime i ask most of them there is one of them madam pious she's always in my inbox she's trying to talk me down and each time she's doing it i'll just be looking at this is supposed to be somebody's wife 
You will not take care of your children. This is supposed to be somebody's wife. You can't take care of your husband. And so, even at that, when you come online, the only thing you do is to get involved in matters that are bigger than you, a matter that you don't know what is coming. I tell you, this Biafra issue is bigger than 100 in Nandekano. He can run, he can't hide. There are a lot of things Biafrans don't know. For four years, we were in, in the house calling in Nandekano to order. But every time we try to correct him, he said we are fool. And those of you who are the true fool will not, you will sentimentally condemn us. Simeon Ekpan that may have come out and start castigating us. Why is he running from conditions now? We stood our ground. We violated our conscience. We did everything in the canoe said we should do. Not because we were fooled. So that he can be able to have the confidence and the support to do what he's supposed to do. We come to fill the gap, uh, vacuum for him. But if you, indigenous people of Nandekano, choose to mesmerize yourself, that is your business. But be rest assured, Nandekano have sold all of you out. When they arrest you, when they kill you, when they kidnap you, he comes to the radio and says, those of you who are about to die, I salute you. Those of you who will die in Abuja, I salute you. Just try and go there. You are not even ready for what is coming. And now the colonel has sold you people. All of a sudden, Darlington came out and started talking about money. It's unfortunate he was the one who knows the truth. He wants to give now the colonel voice to condemn George Unibi. His turn is coming. At the last broadcast I preached, I made it clear. Their turn is coming. Nenayanya turn is coming. Because Amarachi actually was brought to undermining Nenayanya, upset the balance, and she can be removed. Because now the colonel wants to hit all of your head together to be in control of the money. He has told all these people what to do in his assets, and they are going to cause confusion for you. That is what he did in 2015. So the indigenous people of uh, Nandekano, I can see you are not much on my platform. Please call others like you and come and yap. It's as simple as ABCD. You shall be unstable like water. This is what Jacob told Reuben. You are the sign of my dignity, the flesh of my flesh. The one that is the evidence of my manhood. You shall be unstable like water. All of you using us to make money in the name of Biafra agitation. Your generation after generation will be unstable like water. I'm not saying people cannot give you money. But if the purpose you are doing it is for money, it shall be unstable. They buy data for you. Go and cost George Onibe. Go and aggregate George Onibe. Go and antagonize it. But it's not working anymore. Come and call protest now. You can't because you have destroyed the mindset, the mind that are behind those activities. Those Mugu, now they cannot use to surround themselves. What do they know? If he's talking about money, for all of them, money, 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 money. But indigenous people of Unandekano, save yourself from this menace. Save yourself from this evil. Because nobody will save you if you fail to do that. And if you think you can intimidate us into submission, you can make us backward like coward, I tell you, you have to think again. We came prepared. We go nowhere. Nobody will save the next generation. And so I acknowledge you, indigenous people of Fernandekano. Time you are supposed to be talking about your supreme mercy. Nandekano. Chineko Kikabiamanke. we shall see how it's going to come out it's unfortunate who will evacuate you this time and for those who are there oh let's get and can you can you you people don't know atrocity of Unandekano, but we are not in hurry. just one week of assassin look at how they are fighting themselves 
Because sin and the cannot create that vacuum. He needed to be that way. So when he come, he become a peacemaker. There are things we know that you don't know. And so you are not in the position to advise us. And that having been said, I acknowledge the creator. The one who set our feet upon this path that we must follow. He is our lifting up of our head, our hope and stay. A matter both great and small, he remains our wisdom, knowledge and understanding. He is our guide. As that year bounded for the water brooks my heart longed after thee you o lord are my heart desire and i long to worship you you o lord and my heart and stay father you o lord are my spirit filled you alone are my heart desire and i long to worship you thou art worthy Mary de Ma, thou was slain to redeem my soul. Redeem my soul, I will join the host of heaven to rejoice and worship you. He said, he said, he said, and of course, we must continue to enlighten our people. The atmosphere is not very clear, the weather is not very friendly. The enemies have gathered already, but they are dressed as friends. The power brokers are all waiting for opportunity to control the whole situation. And so all of us are in a state of dilemma, a confused state, I must tell you. And if you move anyhow, they will stop you anyhow. And so this is a moment that is called for caution. This is a moment that is called for principal activities to take place. This evening we are going to look at the topic that is titled the role of women in Biafra Restoration Project and the way forward. Of course, it's a continuation of our women presentation uh, day before yesterday, before the line was compromised. And then the desire to make sure they complete that program. And of course, I admire their courage and I will give them every necessary support as much as a lie within my power so we are still going back to the women presentation the role of women in biafra restoration project and the way forward when we talk about women they are the strength of the man when you talk about women they are the seal of every endeavor when you talk about women they end up being the magic that you dreamed for and now these are knowledge too deep for you to understand but you know it already this truth live within your heart it's left for you to stand up and embrace this calling or it's left for you to sit behind and sentimentally play the fool somewhere along the line you will blame yourself of course But if you have to be a fool for supporting Biafra agitation, sincerely, honorably, I tell you, anything that cannot destroy you will only make you stronger. You will even fight to restore Biafra life after life, even a hundred lifetime. The issue of Biafra is a done deal. There is 
nothing Nigeria can do about it. It's just a matter of time. Recently, you can all observe that they have started talking about division of Nigeria already in the floor of the Senate. But that does not mean Biafra has come. Even now the colonel was here now, he will tell you when I told Elohim. Elohim said, no, Elohim has finished his job. The people of Biafra must prepare. Prepare for what is to come. And that is why every stakeholder must begin to redefine their territory. It will not continue like this. The country itself is... Women among, like every other, have a unique role to play. But how will they go if they are not sent? How will they go when they do not know the role they are supposed to play? Who even acknowledged them? Who even gave them that encouragement they need? The moment Nandekano was able to get access to the widows in America, he almost relocated to America. And these women has not still opened their eye. All of you, your time will come. The earlier you come and register with Biafra Nation Alliance or the Fato Customary Government, the better for you. Did you know why? Because he must call all of you saboteur. You have aided and abated in Nandekanu to destroy many lives. And I say, those of you who did it ignorantly, may God forgive you. And those of you who did it deliberately, posterity will judge you. You know this thing is wrong. Where is okay foreign? Where are the people? Oh, no government. Well, you go and do juju. All these things, you are saying it in the radio. The Nigerian government has been able to arrest all the native doctors or herbalists of Biafra land. They have registered. But who exposed them? You. We are going to do Odeshi. We are going to do o -O Oshiedi. You mentioned many things. We are now in a Ubetu bomb forest. We are preparing for them. Why all those drama? He so said to ginger you to drop your money. And those of you in America, you are still going there. Just look at all of you now. You look like fool, venture, beaten by rain. Each time you are coming, uh, even now they can, uh, well, even now they can. All of you look like virtual. Because the world already know what the non canoe is all about. Let him collect and move away. Because if we do not renegotiate the position, our position in the Nigerian state, you people don't know what is coming. And so, at this moment, I'm specifically trying to address the women. You have a woman. If you are a woman, you are supporting somebody to kill somebody, then you are not a moral woman. It is only women that have the ability to take care of male and female. Man can't do that. When a woman gave birth to children, she's the one who take care of the girls. She's the same who take care of the of, of the man. Man cannot do that. And now maybe you begin to understand your role. The Bible in 15 verses repeatedly treat matter regarding the role of a mother in the society and of course the family in particular 15 verses of the bible was dedicated to the issue of women and of course if you will go to the book of proverb chapter 1 verses 8 and 9 he said listen my son to your father instruction and do not forsake your mother's teaching In 15 verses like this, Solomon and David were trying to tell the children and as well remind the mothers that in as much as the father has a role to play, a role of instruction, the teaching of their mother should not be forsaken. If you want to see a woman that is not trained by their mother, they don't have character. I'm sorry to see, most of our ladies now don't have character. They don't. Because they didn't undergo training of their mother. Because their mother did not train them. 
women originally as according to african tradition are the custodian of our secret women know the secret of every community more than the men and that is why in the war during the war or any war the first thing they do is to kidnap women because men no, don't know many things you have to how many house your father have how many plot of land your father have how much is in your father's bank account and so when he die you begin to drag for it but women they are, they are the only one who know the original owner of the child they are carrying. And so when you wake up one day, you challenge your mother. And he know that you are even a bastard she carried to inherit another man's way. He can frustrate you. Women are the embodiment of secret. But I hope they will understand and begin to function. Women are the one who knows everything. And that is why in my place they give women name and they say Opoho won law. Opoho won law. Opoho is one. In my language, in my dialect, Opoho is one. Opoho won law. The women are the owner of the house. And these are some of the things the Samis is trying to tell them. Now, this is a two way discussion this evening. Our people must learn to look up to those women. Who are truly women, mother, and learn from their teaching. If we still have any. But if indeed you are a mother who taught, who teaches, this is the time for you to rise to do your job. He said, Listen, my son, to your father's instruction. Do we have fathers giving us instruction anymore? And do not forsake your mother's teaching both of them play the same role in your life but in different way the fathers the men have been doing all they can our women i must say biafran women have not yet identified with this agitation the few one that has come out has been either abused or insulted or relegated to the background or blackmailed you know they have not played their role but this is the time for Biafran women to get ready to begin to mobilize other women as you will be informed on what to do at the right time I would have started informing you giving you details of what you are supposed to do but of course we can't be selling ourselves on the platform it is true that father instilled discipline on the children. Mother also impart love on the children. When a father instills discipline, it comes in a very harsh form. The mother immediately intervenes by imparting love to that children. Because without the mother intervening, that child may end up growing up with hatred in his heart for his father and so i remember as a child i did something wrong i don't forget that experience and when my father came back they told my father this is what i did and honestly it was not what they thought or should i say it was not deliberate but, but the thought of it that a child like me could do something like that my father will not spare the rod he gave me beating of my lifetime they even have to take pepe and rub my bumbo and flog me very well even that midnight i was like swimming in a pepe soup and and i i was like wondering how could my father hate me this way? Because in the morning, my mother come to check on me. And I was still crying. I would, they beat me up. They flogged me. 7.30 in the evening. I woke up the next day, 6 a.m., crying. My mother said, it's okay. Don't worry. The, the pain will soon subside. 
you see your father is angry because he don't want you to be a bad child eh? so don't worry when you grow up you will understand but don't do that thing again no oh. oh, yeah, go and apologize to your father and then i went to my father and i said daddy i'm sorry and my father drove me to his body and he said it's okay don't do that again no. okay you know what he put hand in his pocket bring out some money and give to me without my mother and now you see most of the things happening in this struggle if mothers were allowed to play their role we will not get to this level and now the canoe eventually has sent this agitation 10 years behind schedule except all of you wake up you can hear team who from money tonight but you are not still seeing it too and so tonight we are calling on biafra woman don't let any except you come for other purpose if you call for us to restore biafra remain focused when Nandekano was done with blackmailing me and character assassinating me through as he they hot as he they pepper it was which even for that is their next stop because already they are predictable and it's very pathetic it was which even for that is the next and i i wrote a, a post on my platform i said do not have a hand in the death of that child because that child call you father Chini Achibe. they told okenkwo do not have a hand in the killing of that child none they cannot understand what i mean some mothers in fact about two women called me and said that push was touching you would have done your job to tell her and the canoe to stop that rubbish she's doing but yet overconfidence kill my monkey overconfidence destroyed him so you can be living in the past glory and think you are something that you are not it's over indigenous people of and the canoe it's over And so father provide but then it is mother that manages if in this biafra restoration project as we make ourselves available and then we have mothers who are managing the whole affair we will not be where we are today a father bring resources food money at home without the mother who will manage it and so women if you are not ready to manage the men as far as this agitation is concerned when we say manage it's simply a way of certain priority right with love in your heart the only women i see most in this biafra restoration project they look like mad people to me have you not heard josephine Eriwa talk Josephine Erewa, one of the women that come out strongly. Go and look at her. She talks like a demented person. Or are we looking at uh, Faith Ogala, who almost was coming to naked? And all of you will be shouting in the in the IP, IPOB bingo, according to I, I, I. They say you are hurting, baby. You are hurting. The, the, the idiot will be there and naked herself. I still have that brokers. So if you have deleted it, don't worry. I downloaded it before you delete it. Because when we notice it on the canal, we'll talk rubbish and delete it. We'll now begin to download it for him. Is that a, a woman? You, you, you are fighting for freedom. You are trying to tell the world that they are killing us. And then you wear pants. Is it a hot bone or bone hot? How do you people call it? I shake your nyash, put your nyash on your video, uh, on your uh, Android phone. You put your nyash, you shake it, you shake it, you shake it. Ndiara will now come and tell you, hey, baby, you are hot, you are hot, we are with you. Hey, marama. Oh, ah! Those are not women, my dear. I have to 
call all of them because they called my name. I will respond to all of them without reserve. The game has not started. And then the other one is Ife. Hey, where we go kill you? Hey, where we go do it? Come to, come to your village now and do that thing you are doing. And then I begin to respond to you. What you cannot do, you mess people up. Just look at all your women agitating. And then when the British man, when the European man, when other African countries see you, half naked and dancing, they say these people are not serious. There's supposed to be a communion among women. But then they can't know how to separate everybody. So he can be able to have his way. It's unfortunate. And so, like I said, the father may provide. It takes the mother to manage. It takes the mother. Fathers are the image of the family. But mother is the influencer of that image. Your father is the image of the family. Men are the image of the agitation. But who are the influencers? Who are the influence? That is why they say behind every successful man, there is a woman. And so I'm just trying to make you understand, say Biafra mother, that there is a magic in you. There is ability that presented already in you that men cannot do. I cannot let those information out. But as we begin to recongregate, you will get this information in details. You will agree with me that there are lots of things men can do that women can also do as well. So as much as the woman can do those things that men cannot do, we have to engage them. We live in a muscular dominated world. And so most of us do not understand the great role women play. If given opportunity. Go through histories of women around the world who has the privilege to lead and to see the great achievement they have achieved. Biafra women at this point in time should stand up and play their role without sentiment. Most of you have done very well. Some of you are tired and discouraged. We understand. But I tell you, stand your ground. Posterity will talk about you. The next generation must appreciate you. For this is the time for women to rise up and initiate the magic that is within them. Don't let anybody deceive you. A lot of things need to be put in place. And nobody can do that except women. The role that is men for women. And so tonight, as I'm going back to the studio to hand over the mic to the women who are waiting for us, Biafra Nation Alliance women, I want to encourage every Biafra woman to rise up and don't shrink back. Some of you have been discouraged. Some of you are not happy. Some of you don't even know what to do. They only discourage you. But my brothers, you don't have. You don't have to worry yourself. But rather, stand up and do the needful. Stand up and do the needful. It is time for Biafra to go home. And as such, all hand must be on deck. I'll be back in a minute. Right. 
Lord, I want to thank you for this beautiful thing what you did do for us. Ah, finally, Biafra is here. So make you never give up. I know, yes, they killed us many years back. I know, yes, they try to pull us down, but this kind of what? Yes, I will, we can hear you. Good evening from here. Thank you, sir, for waking Good evening, sir. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to once again still come and air our view. Actually, we are waiting since, but uh, because of other unforeseen circumstances, it appears as if some of us have left, but that notwithstanding, the few that are remaining will still do the needful. Without wasting much of the time, our time, I say good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night, all the lovers of freedom and the good will men, conscious good will men and women over there. I say good afternoon. Thank you for listening to us this night. I greet you, Joko Jojoniba. Thank you very much for having called on us again to come and a our view just like uh, last week when we were talking about the role of women in the project of biafra and the biafra, uh, way forward for biafra restoration along the line at the middle of I would like uh, my comrade to introduce herself. Then we we'll go straight to the point without wasting much time because we have waited uh, for a long time. Good evening. Good evening, dear friends. Good evening, lovers of freedom, Biafra Nation Alliance, Biafra Watchmen. I say me chuko kikabia make kerowa bless everyone. Thank you, Doctor, for giving us this opportunity. This is Ada Biafra uh, from a boy state. You call local government. Thank you.
myself, my very self still remains Agunwan. Also calling from Biaf talking from Biafra land, and by special grace of Chiko Kikabiama, the admin of uh, a boy state. So without wasting much of our time, I will just go straight to the point or uh, the things that we have here to get it summarized before we go to the way forward. Uh, before doing that, I really thank Diopa because he has already finished our job for us. He has already enumerated on, on all the things that women as regard to everything in this world, their role, not only in nation building, their role right from the, 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 the house down to the society. I thank you, Diopa, very much for educating us. So as uh, we talk on this issue, those that uh, many other people, when time comes, if they have some contributions to make, they will still do so, so that we will still learn more. So, so without wasting much of our time, like the roles of women, uh, I would like my sister there to just summarize the ones she have as the roles of women, just summarize it within some uh, points. We don't want to talk much or dwell much on it today because our major topic today is the way forward. But just to bring our mind back on what we were doing the other day, just summarize all the points you talked on that day so that we, uh, uh, we will now move ahead. The floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Agwan. And thank you, Dr. for giving us this small opportunity to, to enlighten our women. Though, we're supposed to be more than this too, but maybe some one thing or the other have done the are caretakers of the family. And because they are caretakers of the family, it affects the nation, it affects our community. And if the women did not rise up to build peace within our our families and our communities, things will go wrong. And if things goes wrong in our in our family, it will affect the the different restoration that we are doing. I call the women to arise as an advocate for peace, peacemakers, relief workers, and moderators mediators i mean and the mediators in our homes we are the ones to talk to our children we are the ones to talk to our husbands we are the ones to show them to tell them talk to them that biafra restoration is not through arm arm struggle or any other or battle or war we are not here to fight war to restore Biafra. We are here to build peaceful nation. That's why we call on women. We call on us women as a peace builder that we should organize ourselves. We need to organize ourselves and start to educate our people so that we can be able to safeguard this nation this Biafra nation and all the activities that is going on in it so that Biafra will come come quickly and we will go home rejoicing women we are calling on you we should organize ourselves we should help others take care of themselves yeah, uh, do the needful because if we women close our mouth or do not teach uh, the women, other women, or our husband and our children what to do in the family so that they can bring it out to the society. We are not doing well. We need to educate our people. You see, Biafra de facto customary government have made it that women should, um, that our children, our youth, should come and learn, and learn handwork. Is our work to educate those children. Is our work to show them that this thing we are doing is not bad. That we should 
we, they should come out and learn handwork. Because if they have handwork, there is no way they could be told that they should go and shoot a police person in a country that we have not been able to go go home with. That they should go and, and shoot a police person that they are doing well then they are fighting for freedom then they wouldn't do it if they have handwork they wouldn't have followed and go inside bush and lie down there and slept and be drinking uh, um all manner of uh, 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 some some uh, um that will destroy their brains and make them not to know what they are doing anymore because if they drink all those things they will be able to go out and do some certain things that after they have done it they will start regretting if they are alive we are we are the ones the women are the ones to do those things those jobs for for the for the biafra restoration i urge all the women to stand up let nobody go back do not say eh, after all the ones i have done did not yield anything. No. The method we are using on Biafra restoration is non-violent and is the best approach of peacemaking while uh, and uh, uh, we don't need conflict in this Biafra restoration. We need peace. That's why we, we choose non-violent, no armed struggle, nothing like violence. We don't need war. We are not in, in the war. We are to restore Biafra in peace, which is the role of the women in Biafra restoration. We are to to be to to tell our children that this war, 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 war of eighteen that they are shouting on social media and confusing some people many of you now don't even know where your children is because if you did not educate them you did not educate them so they followed the ones they saw in social media they followed the ones they saw in the bush drinking cigarettes and smoking weed that's why they followed them they wouldn't have done that so all these words are shouting on social media is not the way forward and the physical violence, we do not advocate for that. We are only seeking for peace. Uh, and as women, we are to stand. Many people have distanced themselves from Biafra Restoration Project because of this violence, of this war, war, war that we are shouting on social media, which is not good which is not helping us on the ground in biafra restoration we need not to threaten the core identity of other biafran tribes like ijoz robo all the tribe that made up biafra we don't need to to to, to uh, um threaten their identity you don't need to tell them that uh, all of them will be speaking robo all of them will be doing the culture of Urubo. If you are not doing that, you are not a monk. All of us will be speaking Agbo. If you are not doing that, you are wrong. No. Our work is to gather every tribe of Biafra and leave, let them uh, do their, their culture the way they are doing it. Since 1967 to 1970, when Biafra was declared, let them do it. It's our work to join and educate all these people and gather every Bia tribe of Biafra together to determine the best way to govern ourselves, how best to progress on this face of the world that you see that Competition is what is reigning in this world. We are the ones to gather ourselves and know how to progress in order to compete with this world that is that, that only going on through competition and big games that
that is greater than any any person that could be able to one person that could be able to come out and say he is the one that will do everything that restoration is not for violence for crying out loud women come out educate your people because from your family if this one educates his family and i educate my family and everyone educate their family you will not see this violence everyone will go in peace we will continue to restore biafra in peace because biafra rest biafra was doing well from the first day that the biafra nation was declared until our enemies saw that we are about to become a great nation on earth and they brought war to us we will not afford to to allow war coming again every tribe of biafra need to come together and negotiate how best we can govern ourselves how best we can progress because if our enemies saw our unity if they saw our unity they will not have a way to come and do their 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 way of uh, divide and rule divide and rule that they have been doing to divide us so that brother will not will not know his own brother sister will not know that this one is her own sister so that we can be able to come out on the streets if you see another woman's uh, child misbehaving you can be able to correct that person but if we do not unite as brothers as sisters as beer friends we will continue to be forcing ourselves on another person and that will not help us with all this i'm saying is just for the women to unite so that we can be able to progress in this Biafran restoration as the Biafran de facto customary government are doing well now they are doing well they, are, they have given us so much uh, hope on this restoration because many of us have lost hope many of us are going back backward into this Biafran restoration but i urge everyone to come out to come out because uh, uh, excuses will never win any battle we can't give excuses this time around unity is what we need nobody should fear rather if we unite our enemies will fear us and they will never bring that divide and rule again to our land i urge all the women i plead let every one of you come out we have suffered so much for this biafra restoration we can't afford we will continue to be forcing ourselves on another person our rule more more and more more we need more more effort we need more effort we know how we do it nobody is telling us what we will do we know what we will do and we will bring peace to biafra restoration we know what we will do we know how we do things let nobody go back let nobody look back keep on looking at the front because if you look back you will see so many sufferings you will see so many setbacks you will see so many things that will draw you back but if you keep on looking forward you will see that you will see a reason to glorify the name of the lord at the end of the day the women of Jaffa, the learned ones even those ones who are not learned okay. those who are being used to destroy things in Jaffa land you can talk to them you can talk to all those people that are being used they will listen we are women we know how to talk to people we know how to talk to our children we know how to talk to our husbands we know how to talk to the society i urge all of you to come out and do the needful thank you doc for giving us giving me this opportunity thank you everyone for contacting me to speak my mind on this issue of Jaffa restoration concerning the role of women thank you my sister you have spoken at a length
let those that have ear let them hear i overheard you said many things it's not all what you said that i will recap again but i will just summarize all the things as regard to women rule so that we will go over to the way forward because when we are talking of the way forward it's not mainly for women it will not be for both parties everybody must put hands on deck for we to get what we are looking at for. So I had you talking about caretaker. Of course, yes, women are caretaker of the house. They are also educators and entrepreneurs. Even in history, the central role of woman in society or women in a society has been has ensured the stability, progress, and long-term development of nations like our own we are going to get. In a society also, women is men's uh, helpmate, partner, and comrade. Women sacrifices her physical pleasure and ambitions. Women also set standard of morality and also relieve stress and uh, strain in the family, and in particular in the, in the nation at large. Also, women are the pioneer of a uh, nation. nation. For example, Indian culture attaches great importance to women, comprising of uh, even world's population, uh, populations, according to the report of the Secretary General of the United Nations. It says that women constitute 50% of human resources, the greatest resources next only to man, having great potentiality. Women are the key to sustainable development and quality of life in the family in particular and the nation in general. Within the society, women have important roles to play or to perform. And these their roles are primarily recognized in the society in the area of social, political, economic, cultural and religious spheres. The roles of women in a society, if we will continue to be enumerating it here or listing it, it will go to infinity. Just like uh, Dr. Paja Jongibe even first said, he said almost uh, millions of the roles of women, of which this topic will not be exhausted today. Maybe as time progresses, as he promised us, as time progresses, he may even teach us more. If, because I know some of we women, we don't even actually know some of our role to play. Like as my sister said, we actually urge the women of Biafrans to come out, stop being afraid of what will happen to you or what Okeke Okafo will do to you. Come out from your hidden place, come out from your holes and come and embrace the truth. Because this platform teaches the truth. Nobody is going to humiliate you. Nobody is going to castigate you. You will be given equal participation to bring out your own talent. Whatever you know best to do, you will do it for our nation to come. Having said all this, now we will be going to the way forward. How will Biafra be restored as quicker than expected? But before I do that, I would like to ask ourselves this question or we will ask the question and we will answer it by ourselves. We are talking about nation, nation that we are going to build. What is a nation? Because many people that are into this, uh, as they call it struggle agitation, they don't even know the meaning of a nation. And you cannot give out what you don't have. Something you don't know the meaning, how will you get it? How will you give to others? Simply put, nation or state is a cultural group or nation that is also a state. You may call it a state or a nation. And it, it may be, in addition, be as a sovereign state. And by the time you know the meaning of a nation or a state, it can be regarded as a cultural group, it can be called a state, or it can be called a nation, but it may be, in addition, uh, called um, a sovereign state. Having known it that way, we are now going to look at the characteristics of a nation. When we know the characteristics of a nation, we will now know how we are going to move it forward. A nation has, at least they have many features, 
but I just brought out to seven here for us to look at. The first thing we are going to talk about is sovereignty, land, population, government, common descent, geographical uh, uh, boundaries, common language, infrequent internal ethnic conflict, common religion, same cultural practices. These are the seven characteristics of a, a nation. A nation have to have its own sovereignty. And by the special grace of Chipo Kikabiyama, all these things listed here, we have already, already have all of them. And government as well. We have already have all of them. It's only one thing that is still missing, that is sovereignty. Talking of land, we have land. Population, we have population. And government, we have already have our government, the Biafra de Feto customary government. We have it already. And common descent. You know, when you say that somebody decent, somebody that have good character, have good reputation to portray, like this Biafra people, that's why we are crying out blood now, because we are not known as people that can kill their own people. There's never a time we are known as people that do banditry or do kidnapping or do uh, uh, non government no it's not in our blood that thing is foreign to us and that place he came from he will go back to that place we are the people of decent character then we have common language there is infrequent internal ethnic conflict before the uh, lord lugard in 1914 came to put us together we, we are there before they come before they came we, we are there and then we know that it, during those our forefathers era they used to have their own uh, infrequent uh, ethnic groups yes it's one of the feature or character of a nation it do happen in our own all of us we are aware of what happened between equal and them um, and the z and what happened between the uh, fium and the uh, zi fium and then in a, a boy state so do every other state have their own infrequent internal conflict ethnic conflict it's not a, it's not to be blown uh, blown out of proportion if any nation some ethnic group starts starts having some crisis it's part of the characteristics of a a, a, a nation then you talk about um they talk about common religion yes in our nation we have different religion religions we have a tradition we have christian we have muslim and every other type of uh, religions you can talk about all of them are common to those people that are talk, uh, making use of it then also same cultural practices if you look at these seven characters you will find out that we have already have all of them the only thing that is missed and with this now i am going to open the floor of the way forward and this way forward will be both men and women in general not only rule of women and both men and women will look at some of the things that we ought to do for us to get to move to where we are aspiring to get to i will just open the floor by saying one point then i will consult my comrade to say her own before we continue the first and most important way forward is to shape a nation that is united like as my sister said when he was explaining the the rules that's the first thing to be targeted to shape a, a nation that will be united not the one that is divided already brother is killing the sister sister is killing a brother no not that kind of nation we are looking out for. There we are different culture, religion, language in the country. The question of unity and integration, which must be solved by our leaders and the uh, women inclusive. This question of uh, unity and integration must be solved by our leaders and women inclusive and thank god that the the, the 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 movement has already started and that's why our biafra the fatal customary government is there they are already playing that part consultation and all the things that need to be done they have already started it and the, that unity must be emphasized upon is the key to what we are talking about when we are united in one love one love and unity 
we will get what we are looking out for. But when we are divided, we will not make it. And the, 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 our enemies or the people that we are trying to leave actually have noticed that to be our challenge. And they are really using it to be fighting us without allowing us to be united. I thank God for this uh, uh, Biafra Defeto customary government and Biafra Alliance family and other pro Biafra that have agreed to come together in unionism to make it work. And I pray that it will continue that way. Let me just stop uh, uh, stop by now on and call on you, Ada Biafra, to still give us one or two ways of uh, where we are going to move forward, both men and women, not only women. The thing you know that if we do it, we will get this uh, re uh, Biafra restored quicker than expected. The floor is yours. Yeah, thank you for giving me opportunity to just conclude on the whole uh, um, the way forward to Biafra restoration. I urge everyone asking for peace building. Start it from your family and Jaffa at large. Do not allow conflict. Do not allow any any conflict. It will affect us badly. If you work and build for peace in your side, and every other Biafra and build for peace in their side, it will help Biafra restoration to come quickly. Do not allow conflict in your homes, do not allow conflict in Biafra restoration. We need to go home peacefully. We don't need arms. We don't need arms struggle. We don't need a uh, conflict we we need peace and we need to work together. as the Biafra and de facto customary government have started the process of uniting every Biafra whether you are outside Biafra or inside Biafra whether you are anywhere they have started that process of work of unity we urge everyone to work for unity will help us. All of us should unite. That is why we must unite. Thank you. I'm yelling, continue, you are talking, uh, sister. Continue, you are talking, sir. Okay, sir. okay, thank you, my sister. Without wasting much of our time, we still talk on some points on the way forward, you know. Like as you keep on talking about this, you will only build your house before you'll be able to build a side. Because somebody that is not able to build her house, you will not know how to build a side. They must be accommodative of the diversity in our society. What does that mean? For the fact that we have different cultures, we must be accommodated to one another. And there should not be, we should be tolerant, should be tolerance among, among us, all of us, both in men and women. We should not be in a nation or trying to be the nation where if another person knows something more than us, we will not be trying to get the person out of the way. Or uh, because I'm working with this person, I find that this person is more knowledgeable than me. Instead of me to bend down and listen to what that person can help me to do, I will rather blackmail that person or, or, or 
castigate that person so that the person will be out of my way so that only me will stand. No, we will not, we will not find this in this nation we are going to build. It, we will not allow this nation to be like the place that we are trying to live. Or we will not leave it to be like the former charlatan groups that we found ourselves before. Both women and women should be empowered. What does that mean? If there is an empowerment, thank God that this new government is already into the process. The Okwaje Johnny always announces it on the air when he is broadcasting concerning the empowerment that they want to empower our youth. Both men and women are going to be empowered. Because the reason why there is much problem and katakata for the previous one is because even those that are doing some works so were made to abandon their work and uh, now take their uh, agitation as if it's the hand work. But if everybody is doing something, you have something you are doing, you will now be rest assured that you are engaged in what you are doing. Then, if there is any one naira or two naira you can afford, you will contribute it. This one is not do or die affair that everybody is. Uh, 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 in the scripture, I said this thing earlier today when I was on uh, air. We were taught about widow's might. When they were giving offering, Christ himself was in the church, in inside the, the, the church auditorium watching. Everybody carried millions of things to come and deposit. But we were told that only one widow came out with one penny or what they call it. But we were told that Christ said that that's the woman that gave highest. Why? Because she gave all what she has. Then every other people are going giving out of the abundance they have. If all of us, we get ourselves engaged in wanting or the other doing, so that even if it's you, put it. If it's one you have, you contribute it. From there, you will see things will be moving. Then we will try to be doing it, doing something. Nobody should fold his or her hand. Whether you are a man or a woman, you go and fold your hands, waiting for somebody else to be doing for you. No, no matter whatever you are doing, make sure you get yourself involved in doing something. And uh, uh, both men and women should also try to get themselves involved in the economic and the political stability of the nation. If politically we are silenced, economically we are silenced. We are not putting mouth into the mat uh, matters that uh, concerns the nation. How are we going to stand? We will start by now and start learning how to get our positive vision. And then, uh, without wasting much of our time, before I will get to the closure of this, I would like to quote our daddy in the Lord. He normally says this, that in everything we have to be persistent, we have to be truthful, and also, we have to be humble. If actually we are going to get to this nation, these threats must not elude us. We must. The light, we will call it white. If it is black, we will call it light, black. We should not painting things to showcase while we know that is lies we are talking about. Then you keep on painting that lie. I always say, when you lie one lie, for you to cover up that lie, you will lie another one. For you to cover it up, you lie another one. Before you know it, you become a perpetual liar. And that's what we have been suffering from the past. They keep on lying and lying and lying and covering it up and lying, thinking that people will not know. But thank God for Dr. Pajojo Nibandu Chemepo. Video BNA and Dr. Kado and Co. That we are able to bring us out into that mess. Because they have lied on manner of
that person. Even if the other person did not know much, we will humble ourselves and teach that person. And uh, we must consult the people that needed to be consulted. Thank God that that one is already in place. That's why I don't want to dwell, dwell much on that. And our country must be the democratic type of uh, country. They say that the and for the people, we must practice pure democracy before we are trying to come out from the place that were they are humiliating us, intimidating elephants. Come back and tell us that, that our legs are like the elephant own. Meaning that it's we that want to keep. You are intimidated. No freedom of speech. If you ask questions, they will say key him or her. So if it is in that way we are going to enter the new nation, will it work? No. We must practice pure democracy. Everybody must be involved, both big and small both old and young because everybody has something there's no head it is that is a liberalized according to the french people every brain has something there's none of them you will say is as plain as table no every brain has something it depends how you make use of it so that the intelligent process is not the same but everybody has something to contribute so without wasting much of our time because time has been far-fetched with these few words of mine i'm drawing this uh, pro, uh, our program today into conclusion because many of our um, women is now i'm seeing the test they sent to me the thing that made them to leave we will talk about that one later so next time i know they will be around because they themselves still have the ones they would have given out but anyone we could not give out today next time we promise to be better our uh, head of admin always tell us we will always get better we must continue to stop us and uh, this time around i will i will stand by and uh, hand over to the judge if there's anybody that is going to call to contribute to still teach us they will do so but before that i will really portray my undiluted and the gratitude to the opportunity for giving us this opportunity this evening to really come to a our v and i thank which may for for this child of circumstance that being the lord obido binu dr kado asari dokubo and many of our people that i could not remember their names now i thank all of you as we stand by and listening to those that we contribute. Thank you, sir, for having us. Thank you. Thank you very much. The honor is mine. And this having been said, I am my sincere apology to those who are waiting to make their contribution. There is a need for emergency. There is emergency on ground that require my attention. And so you stand by in your next presentation. Whatever uh, question you have to ask, how to know the get join the Biafran Nation Alliance women, all will be explained. I will encourage you if you are a Biafran woman, you join them and then you can be able to play your role for Biafran people. I want to thank you, Agowanye, and special thanks to you, Ada Biafra, for joining me this evening. You people did very thank well, you, and I'm proud of all of you. And so I will say goodbye from here, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. God bless you. Respect to the most high. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
London, yeah. Dear France, we know what we want. Dear France, we know what we need. All we want is Biafra. All we need is Biafra. Biafra, Biafra. 